Can I show you the video of the robot bar? No, what's the robot bar? Well, there's this bar in Japan where it's basically a, like just drinking and they give you a show. Yeah. And it's just all this weird ass shit. And yeah. uh, Kung Fu Panda's there. What? Yeah. Kung Fu Panda's in the robot bar? Yeah, there's just... That's a... fucking radical! Yeah, I mean, it's just arrests people. No, fuck you! No, you're wrong! <laughs> fuck you, Kung Fu Panda can't be a cop! Japan seems to think differently. Japan's wrong, and they should feel wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kung Fu Panda. You can't be a cop. <laughs> Man. Dude, he polices China. He doesn't police shit. <laughs> Dude, he absolutely polices China. I don't even know. <laughs> but you're going to Japan. He doesn't police Japan. Well, he doesn't even police China. I, I you know, Kung Fu Panda has no jurisdiction. He's like, <laughs> he's like Batman in the Dark Knight. <laughs> he's a vigilante. <laughs> oh my god. That'd be crazy. Imagine Kung Fu Panda Noir. <laughs> I think it is it no, it's pronounced Noir, isn't it? I don't I don't care. Well, you should. Why? How are you ever going to talk about the Maltese Falcon if you don't know how to pronounce it? The what? It's a famous detective novel. Oh, I don't know. I probably won't talk about it, therefore I won't have to pronounce it. Oh, you make me sad. Good. That's how it should be. <laughs> you're gonna go to the resident. You're gonna go to the Resident Evil Cafe in Japan. Is there? Yeah, it's called the Biohazard Cafe. Oh, I'm never big on Resident there's, Evil. There's also a. There's also an entire cafe based on JoJo, I believe. They have. Where like all the waiters and waitresses dress up as characters. See, that's really surprising to me because, in Japan, just like in America. Uh, it is considered super weird to, like, anime uh, once you're an adult. But at the same time, uh, JoJo is, like, super, super popular in Japan. Well, so is Dragon Ball Z. People still say, you know, cut it out, you weirdo. <laughs> well, I'm, there's also uh, what is it? They have a Gundam uh, cafe or whatever. And, like, when you go to the bathroom, like, you sit on the toilet and it puts you through a Gundam simulator while you're taking a shit. Because that's exactly what I want when I'm trying to use the bathroom. <laughs> I, want the pilot, I want to pilot a robot. They have a... They have an Evangelion uh, uh, ladies house. And it's just as confusing as the real deal. No, what you do is when you go in there, there's just a bunch of girls who are in a coma naked and you just jack off to them. You don't know about that? No. In like one of the movies, like one of the girls is like in a coma, and the main character is like in love with her or whatever, and she's just in a coma, laying in a hospital bed naked. He just jacks off, and then he looks at his semen-covered hand and says, "God, I'm so fucked up." I don't want to be in this movie. <laughs> I don't like this movie. Oh gosh. Can I order Chinese? Oh, good golly gosh. But yeah, tell me how Japan goes. Give me, give me the I will up dizzles. Give me the up dizzles when you get backsles. Tell your tell your buddy Enzo that the guy he barely knows says hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Meanwhile, Mean Spurly will be nerds and probably do a let's play without you. You want to fucking dare? I'm the I'd, glue that holds this channel together. It might. You, that might be true. <laughs> You can't spell glue without you. You are, you so are. As long as you're talking to me. You are one of the founding members of the team. Dude, I named the team. And by and you I named the team. I accidentally stole the name <laughs> from a video I don't remember. <laughs> I still remember you showing me that and you're like, oh my god, wait a minute. I'm like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> what, I, Rich Heimer, you done, you did it again. And I remember... Like, I still remember, I was like, I wonder if he actually got self-esteem team from something. So I tried Googling it, and all I found was that it was this, it was an 80s workout self-help group of a bunch of, like, women. Like, doing yoga to make yourself feel better. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> hi, I'm Daisy, thanks for, no, your, uh, Metal Gear Solid dubs, um, 
I know you hate those comics now, but... But hey, you got to name a subpar Let's Play group. Isn't that awesome? Ben, we are barely <laughs> subpar. <laughs> For example, I mean, right now, uh, this speedrun... I mean, the only way we're not completely, like, below subpar is that we don't resort to screaming... Her jokes. Well, there wasn't really a rush screaming about Kung Fu Panda. Oh, God! Well, I mean, oh, no, Ben. What does that say about us as people? <laughs> it says that we're terrible and we should kill ourselves, according to YouTube comments. It says that you're terrible. Oh, God. And also probably something racist. Probably. Probably something very racist. It's probably something playfully racist. What, how can it be playfully racist? Oh, well, you don't really believe it, but, I mean, you'll still say it, and it makes a lot of sense when it comes out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Mario Galaxy. What have you done uh, to it? Oh, my God! I'm going to have to censor that! That's playfully racist. I'm censoring that! <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks for giving me more work to do. <laughs> you <don't forget. laughs> You'll forget all about no, it. No, I'm not going to. Although I almost forgot to take something out to, for oh, today's yeah. video. I'm constantly like slipping in like racial <laughs> slurs in the no, video. No, that's general. not what I was talking Dude, about. the first working. video I say the N word. <laughs> what? Yeah, you never saw it. What? You never called it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what video? Very first episode of this one. What the fuck? Are you? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, God damn it! I tell the bunnies, get back here. <laughs> God damn it! I thought you would have noticed. <laughs> Apparently I didn't. Oh, great. Mm. Now I have to George Lucas it and he release it. I have to CGI the racism <laughs> out of it. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Aww. Uh. You can't trust me for a second. No, I know there. I know there's a. You can dress me up, but you can't take me out. I know there was one in Sonic Adventure that was like that as well. What was that? I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like. Well, you know, so there you go. Perfect examples of being playfully racist. <laughs> this wasn't even playfully racist. It just came out of nowhere. Oh, dude, no. Like. Oh my god, I don't even know if I should say it right now. Yeah. I'll censor myself, but like... Like, I don't know why? But, uh, I don't know what the situation was. But, like, Sonic was running and just like, Get back here, you blue n-word! Yeah, it's basically <laughs> the same thing I said to the bunnies. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Are you gonna censor out when you actually said, quote, n-word? No, because I didn't say the word. Isn't that... I don't know. Do you want to go to the special? Want to go see your special one? Nah. No. Nah. Not really. She's okay. She's doing fine. I mean, she can handle it. We still got to do the bedroom, and then the next observatory, and then the next observatory, and then the next observatory. How many observatories are there? I don't know, six or seven. Oh my gosh. What? We're, wait, well, how many stars do we have? Sixty. Oh, so we're halfway there. Halfway there. Some may say we are living on a prayer. Yo, do go. Oh wait, uh. Huh. Oh, I'm really sad that we missed the Honeycomb Galaxy audio because I was super proud of that. You want to bring it up again? Oh yeah, we're just we were just talking about serial mascots. So who, So I so I brought up the proposition. Who do you think would win in a fight? It was uh Tony the Tiger or Lucky from Lucky Charms. Absolutely, and Tony the Tiger. I disagree. I think Lucky would win. Lucky's got magic. Tony the Tiger is. Peak physical condition. Lucky can use magic to make him into a huge ass nerdo. No, when has he ever done that? He he is, dude. It's part of the AU. No, dude, it doesn't exist. Like though, someone once pointed out that Tony the Tiger is suspiciously like uh some guy who's got nothing better to do and just invades people's <laughs> houses. <laughs> Like, he's just that sad guy that, like, people just tolerate because he's around and, like, they know his life's hit the shit. He's one of those... Have guys. you ever seen those videos? No. It's so funny because, you know, like, this... There's this dad, like, talking to his son. 
the Tony the Tiger shows up, just walks into their house and starts <laughs> asking if he can play baseball with them. <laughs> I was gonna say it's pro- he's like one of those guys that's way too old to be hanging out with kids, but does it anyway. Yeah, like, it's exactly him. Like, uh, dude, you're in high school and you're hanging out with middle schoolers. What are you doing? No, uh, like here, like here's the other question. Uh, like, who do you think would win in a scavenger hunt? Uh, Lucky the Leprechaun, the Tricks Rabbit, or Toucan Sam? Obviously, Toucan Sam. Yeah, see, like, I had to convince you on Toucan Sam though. Did you? Yeah, cause I. Uh, I remember him saying he would follow his nose wherever it goes. And the best part, he is the fucking Scrooge McDuck of, like, serial mascots. It's true. About, he's a bird. He's, like, in love with the... He's got just got this vice that controls him. Compels every single, like, action he ever does. He's got three nephews, and they're always going on adventures. Yeah. And the, everyone knows the worst of messes become successes. Dude. They're not ponytails or cottontails. Oh. They're two can tails. <laughs> oh my god. Woo ooh. Time to poach them. For their fur. The feather fur. Dude, I heard that they're bringing back DuckTales. Yeah, I heard, I heard a rumor like that too. They are, like, like it seems like a lot of TV shows are doing the Hollywood thing and just rehashing. I heard, I'm not sure if this is even true or even brought up, but I swear I heard a rumor that Hey Arnold might be coming back. I haven't heard about that, but I know that a uh, fucking kid next kids next door are coming back. Yo, Galactic Kids Next Door! I gotta I gotta rewatch that show to get rehyped for it. I have a feeling if I watch it again, it will not be as good. Like it has the deepest lore, but goddamn, if I can be bothered, I'm gonna watch. It. I'm sure like the first couple, like first season or two, will be like painful, but I'm sure the later seasons will be great. Because that's when they made it into, like, one long, continuous story. Well, we'll see about that. I'll let you know how it goes. What was weird to me out was that, like, you know, that fat German kid turned out it was a woman all along, and he had been under a curse. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, like, number five's nemesis, that fat German kid played by a... He was a girl? Yeah, that was... I his... must have missed that episode. Yeah, it was the final one. He, like, ate some candy he shouldn't have, and it cursed him to be the opposite of what he was. So it turned him into this, like, uncomfortably hot, like, fifth grader. Okay, the way, okay, go on. And it was just like, yeah, this is Heinrich, it's a Henrietta. And like, no, it's, stop Henrietta, you're doing things to me. That's, the law said I shouldn't be done. Oh my god. You're weird. Yeah, fucking. You're weird. Fucking, uh, Klaus the Fish from American <laughs> Dad was a woman all along. Also, I found God out... Goddamn, Major Burroughs is kicking my ass. It's not even the fight yet. I found out today that Phil Lamar is going to be a Kineticon. Dude, I love Samurai Jai. Dude, I love Hermes. You know who doesn't? Who? Barbado Slim. Darn that Barbado Slim! <laughs> Dude, uh, you haven't seen the last of Barbado Slim. Slim. Now goodbye forever! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, dude... Good cartoons are good. Oh, they are. Anyway, look at the fur on this guy. So fuzzy was he. That's like some Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze-esque oh. stuff. I can't wait to play that game. Well, I mean, you played it briefly with me. Yeah, and it was awesome. I mean... Not we... our commentary, but yeah. us playing was awesome. Oh, she's so upset. Oh, she's a mad little burrow. She's like, meh, 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 I can't what believe it. She's, it's a man. Women can't be officers in the military. No, you're wrong, though. Haven't you ever played Metal Gear? What has God done to this country? <laughs> Dude, you killed it. It's well, got white eyes. Well, how'd it come? There's a little bunny, like, yeah, you did it. Look at my butt. A little bunny foo foo. I don't want to see you. Boy, you're Hopping through the forest. I'm bopping them field mice on the head. What? Little bunny foo foo hopping for, through the forest, picking up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And then the fairy came and said, Little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping through the forest and bopping on the head. Yeah. What? You, you never heard that, Nursery Rhyme? No! I How know, did... I heard about Little Bunny Foo Foo, I never actually heard it though. Oh, fun. 
How do you hear of a nursery rhyme and not hear the nursery rhyme? Because people mention Little Buddy Foo Foo, but I don't actually hear it. That, that... Dude, you didn't do Gusty Garden! Yes, I did. That wasn't Gusty Garden. That, that was Major Burroughs. Oh, okay.